This is the homework for 157, 158, and 160. In 157, you need to solve the proportions. So two ratios are proportional when they're equal to each other. So one way to solve proportions is by cross multiplying. And so we have x multiplied by 36 and 24 multiplied by 30. x multiplied by 36 is 36x. 24 multiplied by 30 is 720. Inverse property of multiplication, we want to get x by itself. This is division, so we divide both sides by 36. We created a giant 1 here. 1 multiplied by x is x. 720 divided by 36 is 20. For b, we're going to cross multiply. 7 multiplied by x and 5 multiplied by 3. 7 multiplied by x is 7x. 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. Inverse property of multiplication is division. So we divide both sides by 7, which 7 divided by 7 is 1. And 15 divided by 7 equals 15 sevenths, or 2 and 1 seventh. In 57C, if Joan read 75 pages in four hours, how long will it take her to read 250 pages? So we have pages to hours. And so when we set it up as a ratio, this ratio, the numerator, has to have pages. Same with this ratio. So we have 75 pages in four hours. 250 pages and we don't know how many hours that's what we're trying to find out because it says how long will it take her to read 250 pages so we don't know so now we cross multiply so we have 75 multiplied by x is 75 x 4 multiplied by 250 is 1000 inverse property of multiplication is division so we divide both sides by 75. This creates a giant 1. 1 multiplied by x will give us x. 1,000 divided by 75 is 13 and 1 third. So it will take Joan 13 and 1 third hours to read 250 pages. In 158, Mr. Wright was making a table to figure out how much it costs to send a certain number of regular letters through the mail. You need to use proportional reasoning to complete his table. So the highlighted values um, are the answers. Those were the missing values. Now how did I get this? Well one way is to set it up as a proportional relationship. So we have cost of the um, stamps and the number of the letters. So y over x, and I can use any of the given values. That, so we have uh, 450 and 10, 90 cents and two. Um, so we can use either of those. And I chose 90 cents is the cost for two stamps. And then we were trying to find one of these missing values for x or y. And I chose this one right here. And so I have the cost of the stamps, which was $6.75, but we were trying to find this value, and I didn't know, so I made it, um, I gave it the variable x, it's an unknown. So now I cross multiply, 90, 90 hundredths multiplied by x is 90 hundredths x, and two multiplied by $6.75, which equals $13.50, Inverse property of multiplication is division. So we divide both sides by 90 cents and we get x equals 15. So for, um, if, for 15 letters, it's going to cost $6.75. And I can do that for any of um, the other missing values. So if I were going to um, need to find y, 
the cost. So that would be the y variable there, and I would put the cost down here, the given cost, which would be um, which number of letters, which would be seven here. Another way of doing this is to find the unit rate. Once you know the unit rate, you can find the cost um, for any number of letters. So unit rate, I can take any of the values that were given and just divide it. So 400, um, so y over x, $4.50 divided by 10, or I can do 90 cents divided by two. And you can see that I would get 45 cents. So if I did nine, 90 cents divided by two, I'd still get 45 cents. So it doesn't matter which two I use. So one letter costs 45 cents, and I can use that to find the cost for any number of letters. In 160, Todd is 10 years older than Jamal. The sum of their ages is 64. How old are Todd and Jamal? Well, let Jamal equal J and Todd equal T. So I'm giving variables that represent Jamal and Todd. And we know that the sum of their ages is 64. So Todd plus Jamal equals 64. We do know that Todd is 10 years older than Jamal. So Todd is Jamal's age plus 10 years. So here, instead of um, to replace Todd, I put Jamal plus 10 years, because that's how old Todd is. Todd is 10 years older than Jamal. So Todd is here, and his age is Jamal plus 10 years. And now we have plus Jamal equals 64. Now we're now, gonna combine like terms. We have a J and a J. So we have two J's plus the 10 equals 64. Now we're going to do inverse properties. So inverse property of addition is subtraction. So we're going to subtract 10 from both sides. This creates a zero pair. And 64 minus 10 equals 54. Inverse property of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. The reason why we chose 2 is because this creates a giant 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 1 multiplied by j, identity property multiplication, equals j. And 54 divided by 2 equals 27. Well, now we know Jamal's age, which equals 27. But the question was saying, how old are Todd and Jamal? So now we need to find Todd's age. And remember, Todd, Todd's age plus Jamal's age equals 64. So if we know Jamal equals 27, we can substitute J with 27. And so now we have Todd plus 27 equals 64. Inverse property of addition, because we want to get um, isolate the variable, get T by itself. So inverse property of addition is subtraction. We subtract 27 from both sides. Zero pair, 64 minus 27 equals 37. So now we have Todd's age, which is 37 years old. So now let's make sure that we're correct. We know that Todd, Todd's age plus Jamal's age equals the sum of their ages. So we got um, 37 for Todd and 27 for Jamal, and that should equal 64. And 37 plus 27 does equal 64, so that is true. So Todd is 37 years old and Jamal is 27 years old.